Steve Wabach, your friendly public adjuster. Do you know what a public adjuster really is? Have you heard that term? I, I, I can't tell you enough how many times I speak to people and they talk about that, yeah, I, uh, you have something to do with numbers, uh, or you, 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 you appraise a home, you, you tell them how much the home is worth. Well, it's not quite like that. They're close, but a public adjuster is somebody who helps a homeowner or business owner when you have had damage to your property to recover through a claim process using their insurance, which is known as filing a claim, and then at the end having a settlement. We, as public adjusters, help the homeowner get through that process. We represent you. We are an advocate for your rights. We will make sure that all the damage is addressed. We will make sure that your policy is enforced to the fullest. If you have coverage for certain things, we're going to make sure that that coverage is accepted and utilized during that process. Uh, we're not going to accept the word of the insurance adjuster coming in and right away just denying certain things. Oh, that damage, that looked like that was there for a while. Uh, I, we're not going to pay on that. And no, we don't pay to have the trees removed off your home. Once you've got the tree off the home, give me a call and then we'll come out and see if there's any, if there's any damage. It's not how it works. And that's a bunch of baloney. But unfortunately, sometimes things are said that are not of the most upstanding and direct, um, but um, you know, or fair. You know, um, there is a term called acting in good faith. There's also a term, acting in bad faith. And from time to time, insurance companies tend to take that road. You know, it's a downward spiral of acting in bad faith, uh, not doing what's in the best interest of the client. They paid their policy. They have a contract with the insurance company. I suffer damage. It's within certain restrictions that you've put on there, but it's met those conditions. And then you want to give me a hard time to pay for that my damage and tell me it's not covered. Well, that's not fair. And that's where a public adjuster comes in. Uh, we know what is fair. We know what is covered by your policy. And we work very hard to make sure that you are compensated for all the damage that you have just suffered, that you've endured. Uh, we are here to work for you. So guys, please reach out to me uh, if you've had any type of loss. Uh, we've had these terrible nor'easters here in the mid-Atlantic region. If you've suffered some damage and you, you weren't quite sure, well, I don't know if it's covered or not, call me. Let me look at the situation. The insurance company doesn't have to know anything. You and I will talk about things. I will look at your policy. We'll see what the damage you have. And depending on what's taking place, sometimes I can't help you. Sometimes I would recommend don't file a claim. You know, your deductible is such. The damage you have, you're not going to reap any benefit from this. It's not worth going through the anguish, the, the headache. Uh, I'd strongly recommend just to leave it. You know, cut your losses right there. Just get things taken care of. And let's move on. Sometimes we actually have to say, you know what? The policy you have, get rid of it. Come, let, let me help you get a policy that will actually be worth something to you, that will actually give you protection. Uh, and, and we do that all the time. You know, this deductible you have, I don't know where the heck you came up with that, but you know what? You don't need it. Let's change that. Let me help you to get a better policy, to get better insured, so in the event, now, we don't want you really to have damage, but we know statistically you are going to have damage. So if you're going to have damage, doesn't it make sense? Let's make sure that you have a policy that can cover it adequately on your behalf and allow us then to help you to make sure that that takes place. That's what this is all about. You, from the, your standpoint as a client, as a homeowner, say to the insurance company, I feel I'm going to have damage to my property and I need 
you guys to be there for me when I do. The insurance company looks at it from a risk analysis and says, well, you know, we've looked at the house, we looked at the condition, things are very new in here, we don't see the hot water heater going, you've got a nice, safe, properly installed electrical panel, we don't see that happening, uh, you know, your, your heating system is in very good shape, we don't see that failing in the near future. And with all that going on, your roof is very new, it's not going to leak, so we, we so yes, we're, we're going to go and, and, and insure your property, uh, and yes, if something were to happen, uh, yeah, we will go in and, and pay to you know, help you with your, your loss there. Uh, they're hoping, of course, that nothing is going to happen, and statistically, when they've done things and, and have gone through it all, uh, and go through underwriting, and everything is finally tweaked and worked and conditioned, and they get their wrenches in there, Oh, man, you can't believe how much it goes on. But when it's all said and done, when they write the policy, uh, then, you know, you're in good shape. And you expect them to stand behind it, right? There's where I come in. I will help you to make sure that they do. Guys, I'm Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. I'm only a phone call away. At the end of this video, you'll have my contact information. You have any questions, reach out to me. If you did something last year and we're still within a year's time, you know, this is past a year, this is still within a year. See that? Over, less than. If you do that, I can help you. Uh, we can reopen that case and nine times out of 10, we get you more money. And you know what? If I reopen the case and I'm not successful in getting you any more money, you know what you owe me for my time and effort, what my service is? What do you think you owe me? That's right. Absolutely nothing. Is that, is that it? You got it? A goose egg. If I'm not successful in getting funds for you, I don't get any funds either. How much fairer can that be? We are truly together in this venture to help you get through and over what you've sustained in your loss uh, during your insurance claim. All right, guys, thank you very much. And as I say, have yourselves a great day. God bless you.